cheap Parisians could get it onto his fundamentalist funk. The musicians who had created Brown's first funk hits had left, unable to cope with his demands on their lives. One of the replacements was the 18-year-old Bootsy Collins. He got us off the street. We was doing all the crazy stuff the kids was doing. I was stealing, um, uh, you know, breaking in the car. All the stuff kids was doing at that age, we were out there doing. And thank God that he, uh, he came through at the time he came through. I think that was a powerful thing for us and for him because we bought all of that energy, that crazy energy that we was used to doing in the street. We bought it to the band. Who's that? Who's that? See, Boosie is one of the most naturally funky people in the world. He, he could pick up a stick and hit it on the ground and it's going to be funky, you know. I was kind of, you know, doing the freaky kind of bass thing, you know, like uh, playing lead bass and, you know, it was like, nah, nah, nah. He was like, settle down, son, settle down. He called me his son, you know, it was like, okay, all right, dad, you know, what's up, you know. A lot of ignorance, he didn't understand the music because he hadn't been with me. But once I taught him, he could take it another step because he was playing a bass faster than anybody that time. With Bootsy in his new funk lineup, James Brown added Sex Machine to the show. Sex Machine, he's super sex. He's an incredibly, you know, virile black man, and you're gonna have to just deal with it. That's part of the raw power of funk music. They went crazy. They went crazy, man. It was. I mean, people from everywhere, I mean, internationally, you know, it was like we was just traveling everywhere and all the people's reaction was the same everywhere. Everybody just went crazy. But Bootsy Collins had a little too much energy and star quality for James Brown. I don't think he really liked it because it was so dynamic to the kind of overshadowed James Brown, you know. When Boosie's on stage, you gotta watch Boosie. You gotta listen to Boosie, you know. So James Brown didn't particularly like to be upstage, you know, because now you got another personality on stage that is as funky and as dynamic, as much attitude <laughs> as James, you know. Get it, get it, quick. Bootsy lasted barely a year before leaving James Brown in a dispute over money. So began a search, high and low, for new Funketeers to play with. Mr. Funk upon a time, in the days of the Funkopus, the concept of specially designed Afro knots capable of Funkatizing galaxies. What Bootsy found was a set of collaborators who seemed out of this world. Hello, on tonight's South Bank show, we look at the funk. funk, 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 funk. We look at the funk. Funk's one rule is break the rules. And that funky attitude bubbled over to art, to films, to dance, to where you can't walk a city street without the funk getting right up in your face. Bootsy Collins is perhaps one of the most brilliant bass players ever to have been created on this earth.
chaos and order. Ain't no party like a beef up party, but the beef up party don't stop. Ain't no party like a beef up party, but the beef up party don't stop. Y'all say, ain't no party like a beef up party, but the beef up party don't stop. Ain't no party like a beef up party, but the beef up party don't stop. Come on, baby.